Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's Peachy P, and you're listening to the Cannabis Infusions Podcast. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. So let's talk and come smoke with me. <coughs> hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Peachy P, again from Cannabis Infusions. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my podcast. I have a special guest as usual, but let me go ahead. Remind y'all, don't forget, go on that website, CannabisInfusions.com. Make sure y'all check out the latest episodes, visual podcasts. We're also um, on Spotify as well. Just got on there recently. So y'all make sure y'all check that out in the description box, all of the information that you need. Um, As far as everybody that does uh, 420 friendly events, don't forget, check that website out for the monthly events board all the time. And I miss you guys so much. I haven't been podcasting, you know, as much as I would like to, but you know, since we here, we here. Okay. Y'all know I always got to give y'all the, the juice and the tea and whatever you need to know. So without further ado, let's get into what we smoking on this week. This is apple fritter. It's actually smoking pretty good. I know y'all can hear my lighter, you know. Um, it kind of went out. I got one of them torches because, you know, I roll up the leaves and stuff. So, But uh, today I have a very special guest, you guys. Um, he is a producer. He's a grower. He does a lot of things, wear many hats. And I'm just really happy that he finally came on my podcast, finally. And, you know, um, you know, when I introduce people on the podcast, you know, I always, you know, uh, basically give like a little background, you know, how we met. So um, I met uh, this guest uh, when I was actually in school and we just hit it off. So. Without further ado, everybody give it up for Smitty. Hey, well, yo, 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 what's up? Yes, what's going on? Smitty, what's up? Not much smoking on this apple fritter. Yeah, man, this shit's smoking, man. I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's too smoking. <laughs> you gotta know the right people to get some pack like that. It's um, hard to find a good pack. Yeah, people be like capping what they pack all the time. Like they be like, "Oh yeah, this is uh that exotic." Be like, "Which one?" It's that pack, man. Go ahead and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, only about yeah. the best. But let's just get right into it. So look, so when did you even start like smoking? Like, and why did you decide that you wanted to start growing? I started smoking in 2007, the summer of 07. That's, oh, man. <laughs> I was still, I was like a sophomore or about to turn a junior type mm-hmm. shit. And uh, I first got high off Dro. But my oh, first yeah, time I remember smoking, that. My first time smoking, I didn't get high, though. Oh, you didn't? I didn't get high. Some people got that thing when they don't get high the first time. It take them a second try to get it high, get high. But you know what? That dro, I don't know. That dro smoke kind of weird to me back then. Like, because they had mid, then they had, like, dro. That was supposed to be, like, the highest one, then they had Reggie. So, like, you had Reggie, mid, and then you had dro. So, like, when you went, uh, when you, was, when you smoked that, like, dro, it don't hit you. I feel like it didn't hit you as hard as the mid did for me. I don't know. what. Dro was like loud back in 07. Yeah, but it wasn't as smoking to me as the mid. And even the Reggie was smoking back then to me. Like I said once again, you got to know the right <laughs> dealer. You don't know the right dealer. You I know around. I was getting high. I had, his name was Juan. I remember the name. Come on, Juan. Juan. Juan pulled up at my homie trail crib. And we was just outside in my Volkswagen Passat, windows up. Oh, man. Man, I was stopping like 100 yards in front of the stop sign, man. Some of the 100 yards. 
Hey, but you know what? Everybody, to be honest, everybody been smoking, like, even before this shit was legal, like, you know what I'm saying? This shit been smoking. Like, it's been there. Like, we always been blowing. Like, it ain't really been no... I mean, I don't know. I don't really know too many people that actually got, like, caught to caught with weed and, like, went to jail back then. But I just know, like, man, we was getting had. Like, it was lit. Yeah, I don't like no medicinal. Medicinal. You can tell the difference between medicinal. But you know what? I smoked some medicinal weed back in the day, and that shit was pizzack. It's kind of like the stuff we smoking right now. Yeah, when you couldn't we find it, right it was good. When you couldn't find no good loud, but nowadays it's like you can find good loud in all type of places. I got like four different people I can hit up right now, and now, they all they, all they shit is different. But I all but look, I always felt like loud was like a vague term because, like, what is loud? Loud gotta be crystally. Is that exotics? Is like it? what's like what's the difference? Exotic is loud. But you got old exotics too. But what nobody do you don't mean? Smoke old exotics like Larry. No, I think that's Larry OG. But Larry OG Larry's is an OG. Smoke. So you saying okay? So you saying Lau is kind of like the OGs? No, man. You the got, good OGs though. Loud is what's selling. Loud is what people want to want to see in your hand, and when it look crystalline. and all the track home stick out. That's what led me to grow. I became a grower because I wanted to grow that commercial looking weed that I seen on the TV. And so you saying loud is what these niggas capping about saying it's exotics. Is that what you saying? Loud. <laughs> loud is exotics, but if you got loud and it's like the old loud, that shit ain't gonna really get you high like the new loud. Like you can't compare runts to OG. Yeah, but Runs supposed to be an exotic, right? Runs is exotic, but it's like the new OG. When OG was hot, everybody wanted OG. But it's so many strands of Runs and like cookies too. That's another. I feel like cookies is like an OG nowadays for me because cookies, it, cookies give me high, but not like cherry pie or something. You know what I'm saying? I think it depends on what you like. Like I'm more of an indica person. I want to feel that shit in my whole body mm-hmm. and I want to go to sleep. Yeah, me too. But it all depends on like what I'm doing for the day. Like if I know I got shit to do, then I mean I'll fuck with the sativas. You know what I'm saying? Only because, you know, I be wanting to smoke, but I do, I really do like Indica's better though. I just feel like I want to feel something. I feel like I could, I feel like I wasted my money smoking sativa. Cause all I'm getting is a head high. The only but some of that, but some of that sativa do be smoking though. I ain't gonna lie. Now the only sativa I f- I mess with is lamb's breath. Lamb's breath is like fifteen percent or ten percent indica, but it's hella sativa. But it it was Bob Marley's favorite weed. And once I found that out, I had to get my hands on it. Now it hits wow, you in the wow. head like an indica. It don't hit you mm-hmm. in the head like a sativa. Mm-hmm. And then you could stay up. It it just made it I see why Bob like it. It's like trickery sativa. It's it's, it's backwards. Does it feel <laughs> like it has some indica in there? It feels like it's indica when it hits you in the head. Oh. It's like it, it's like See, that's the type of sativas I like. That's what I like. Like it hits you in the head, but you ain't got no choice but to But it tastes relax. like pack when you smoke it. Sativa and indicas taste different when you smoke it. Now we smoking on this apple fritter. It got that little bite when you smoke it. Like, oh damn, that's packed. Now, now see with me, like, I don't really go for like taste, only because I feel like, to be honest, all this the weed tastes the same to me. It tastes like grass or vaporized green. I don't know, like, you know, it's hard to explain. That's what happens when you smoke all type of pack. You got to find out what kind of pack you but like. If you like I the old have, school, I've smoked stick all with the old type school. of pack. Like, I'm not going to say all of it, like, tastes like grass, because it's some that be having that fruity taste, too, but it don't be, like, 
to where it hit my tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like that blueberry whoa. muffin. That blueberry muffin tastes like blueberry fucking muffin. That if shit, your shit yeah. don't taste like how the fruit is, it's a waste of what's some and, tea. But look, and it all depends on what you roll up to because you can roll up like a leaf or something and it might taste different from a hemp wrap. Well, you know, of course it's gonna taste different, but you gonna get that different you're going to get a different smoke out of it. I notice when you put a sativa in a cone, you cough. When you put it in a blunt, you don't cough. That's why I don't fuck with sativa. Because if I can't cough, it don't feel like pack to me. But it do get you high. But you still be high, though. You still I don't have, think coughing really effect. matters, though. I want the effect, though. That let me know my money was well worth it. I mean, I don't think it matters. If I can't cough, I feel like I wasted my money, man. And I only get a head high and all. My mm-hmm. whole body got to be numb. Mm-hmm. I walk, I'm a letter carrier. I walk the mail almost six to eight hours a day. And it ta- you got to damn near get high to go out there and walk that much mail and deliver it. It's crazy. Cause- now, I'm glad that you said that. Because how does that fit into you being a producer and fitting your music in there with all of the stuff that you be having going on. Man, I wish I had more time to produce. I love, I like producing at the same time. I be feeling like I don't want, I don't got time to just do produce. I feel like I need to be putting my time, my energy elsewhere. Like I, I used to make the butter cookies, infused butter cookies. Mm-hmm. I'm about to start making the donuts. Mm-hmm. So infused edible donuts. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my idea, and you could say you heard it, but you're not gonna know what I'm gonna do with mine. Mm-hmm. So I got I got some ideas on my sleeve what I want to do, and uh, mm-hmm. you know I might go. I'm probably gonna about start back growing. I have to rearrange and clean my grow room, and uh, I'll be starting growing the best pack ever again because. <laughs> I got all type of strains I bought before I stopped Man. growing. Hey, that you know that favorite was my chocolate. That's chocolate skunk. And I got chocolate skunk again. That I'm shit was regrow. so. Oh, that was a big. I'm thinking about going back to using nutrients, but I don't know because I kind of like. I need to start using compost teas for every grow. I notice I got more of a good effect. I need now more fans. Now let's wait. Now let's get into it because. Compost tea, like what is that to a person that's never grown before? So if you ever had like uh, kombucha, kombucha is like uh, it's like probiotics, right? Yeah, it's a probiotic, but it has bacillus in it. Bacillus is like microbes that eat, they eat, mm-hmm. and microbes eat on stuff to feed a plant what it needs. So when you got a uh, compost tea that's like kombucha for plants mm-hmm. so it's like you giving them a probiotic to stay healthy mm-hmm. stay good tasting grow nice uh, f- uh and then they have a nice more flavorful because you know all the food is in the soil already mm-hmm. so when you give it compost tea the bacillus it, the microbes in the tea is eating whatever's in there and offset feeds your plant mm-hmm. as well so in a water suitable form mm-hmm. that's why i'm really going back and forth like i grew my first grow smoke break sorry uh <laughs> my first grow i grew with nutrients and i it was really good i spread it the weed around the family but the second time I tried to do organics, thinking I knew what I was doing, I had to keep learning and learning because I haven't grown no good weeds since my first grow. To be honest, but I've grown a lot of weeds mm-hmm. since my first grow. I've had over six grows or more probably, mm-hmm. and I've all and I did them rotatingly. I got two tents. I got one small tent, one big tent, and I could fit up to six plants in there. I start off by growing these babies in this little machine. It's a little contraption. It's like a fake soil. Mm-hmm. It's called vermiculite. Vermiculite holds moisture. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of fake grow stuff of vermiculite. They use it for like those in, in the is kitchen. Is that a liquid or something? Or? Vermiculite is like a fake soil. Oh, but so it's, it's like the shiny okay. pellets and it's man made. Okay. And so. You could, you could grow up, you could start off a plant in there just to get a root going. If you don't know how to grow, all you have to do is get you a paper towel, moisten it, add you a seed, and then wrap it up. You could put it in a Ziploc bag and put it 
on top of like a, something warm or keep it and keep it in the dark or you can just keep it in the dark yeah but it's alternatives to it you know okay. but growing is easy and everybody can do it just get you some seeds oh okay that's what's up thank you for sharing that with us so now let's get back to the music as well because you know you have many talents um, is there any um, artist that you have worked with that you really liked working with in the past? You know, they gave you some type of inspiration, you know, to keep you going to make beats or, you know, is that just what you just have a passion for by itself or was there any other influences? Because I know a lot of people, you know, they start off doing stuff, but then they be like, well, you know what, maybe this isn't for me or like what? keeps you going making your music as well well when i feel like i can't sleep on something like i could take a shower in the morning and just hear a beat in my head even though i don't put that beat in my head down on the computer i make a beat because when i get on there i don't know what i'm gonna do but i know i want to do something mm -hmm. and i think that's why sometimes i can't sleep because i'm supposed to be making a beat yeah. And I'll be thinking that's my problem. And it's like I'm pushing it away. But even though I'm man, not. Man, you're going to be woken up to do what you got to do, man. But I, I got Especially if you got a talent and you're supposed to be sharing it. I feel like, you know, it will be like different signs where you be like, okay, I know I got to do it now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or I'm just, my whole schedule finna be off if I don't just do what I got to do. You yeah. Know? I feel like. I got to keep going. I'm a persistent person. Mm -hmm. Even though my stuff not selling like that, I got a lot of work out here. Mm -hmm. And I send beats out all the time, even though people ain't sending me, they, they work back, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I got a Beat Stars account. Mm -hmm. uh, I got beats all on Instagram. I got beats on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're looking for me, Smitty Certified Beats on Instagram. On Twitter, on B Stars, you could Google me. I'm on Facebook, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's Smitty Certified too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's what's up, man. So that's wow. So what do we have for to look? What do we have looking forward as far as you know? What you feel like you want to do? Like, cause I know you said that. Uh, you're going to start back growing because you took a break for a little while. Um, what are your goals for, you know, the future? Like, what do you expect, you know, as far as the growing portion or, you know, as far as you making music and sharing it with the world? I feel like once I get all this right, it's going to add up to where I supposed to been at. Mm -hmm. I supposed to be a millionaire. I know that's right. That's where I'm going to be at soon. I know I am. Uh, I want to be debt free. I want to run my own business my, for myself. I don't need to be working under nobody mm -hmm. no more. That's what I don't want to do. Yeah. <clears throat> and then maybe I can have a forever business with these edibles because niggas ain't going to never stop smoking. Man, look. People doing all type of stuff. They got creams, they got gummies. Like what oh, so you I know you pretty much a smoker, but are you really into the edibles like as much as smoking too? Or is it kinda like a fifty fifty thing? Like, oh, well, you know, I'll fuck with the edibles as much as I'll fuck with, you know. If smoking. they around if they're around, I'm not a nigga that go looking for edibles. <laughs> like, where the Mike Tyson is with the big <laughs> ill? I need them motherfuckers. Nah, I If they're around, they're around. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I like this, I like flour. So what got you into the cannabis world of podcasting? <laughs> Why you say it like that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit, everybody's in podcasting, but cannabis <sighs> podcasting isn't really, like, uh, uh, relevant to everyone, because everyone doesn't smoke pot. Right. What got you in it? Because everybody 
does it not smoke pot? Can you elaborate? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Um, well, originally, um, when I started out, um, it, I was on a podcast with two other people and we was just smoking and we had like, you know, people on the show and stuff like that. But it was like kind of a weed mixture of a podcast, like a weed and like weed and freaky podcast kind of like it kind of was. Uh, okay. <laughs> but it never got developed to that point really, obviously. Um, Everybody decided, you know, to go their separate ways, you know, because we really weren't agreeing with everything. So, um, and that's okay. You know, sometimes it doesn't work. That doesn't mean that, you know, things, you know, we can't, you know, still be cool or, you know, cordial or whatever. You feel me? So, um, I actually just had, shout out to Poe Man. Um, I had him on uh, the last podcast as well. Um, but. Yeah, like, you know, so we went our separate ways and um, I was walking in my mom's house and I was like, oh my goodness, she's like, what happened? What's wrong? I was like, they just stopped the whole podcast. I was kind of living because, you know, I, I actually started liking it and I ain't never podcast before. So I'm like, oh man, I don't know what's going on. They just didn't want to do it. And she like, why don't you just have your own podcast? And I'm like, you right. I'm like, but what is it going to be called? And she was like, what about cannabis infusions? Because you smoke. I'm like, man, am I you to go? Like, <laughs> so that's kind of how, like, I just started developing it. And it just started going right. And everything's just started working out. And then, you know, it really started to develop as a full podcast, even with outside things, visuals, you know, YouTube and everything like that. So that's how this happened. Damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> For real? <laughs> I mean, you know, it really didn't, it's kind of like a, I didn't choose the game, the game chose me type thing because, <laughs> you know, I, if, you know, you know me, like I was an artist, so, you know, I used to rap. So it was just like a lot of people knew me for music, but they know me now for cannabis infusions, which is pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't the world awesome. <laughs> smoke weed and have a damn podcast. You can do, man, you literally can do whatever you want, but. You're you know. in the same realm as Mike Tyson. Do you yes. understand that? Yes. You see what I'm saying? You know, you can go. Yeah. Smoking pot. Look at Wiz. I know. His life is pot. His life is pot. That's <laughs> all he do. Did it's you see strong. his grinder? His grinder was like a machine. Like a big, huge, steel-looking machine. Like you gotta love Wiz, man. I, I love Shrooms too. Y'all see Wiz be talking about the Shrooms, <clears throat> and Mike Tyson. Y'all need to get into the Shroom game. Y'all gonna wind up missing. I'm thinking about investing in Shrooms once I find out. All so like Shrooms, like shrooms. so. How do you like be filling off Shrooms? Like, what it depend? Each one do something different. I feel like I feel like the white teachers, the white teachers, uh, they show you. Like, you get an entry into the shroom world. Like, yeah. your mind gets relaxed. It's not intense. You real chill. Mm. That's like the old school shroom. Like, you can take that and go have fun. The it's golden old teachers, school shroom. <laughs> the golden teachers make you up all your body's defenses. So, you can go out and shovel your whole alley in the blizzard with no jacket on. <laughs> I did it before trying to make it to work. <laughs> I swear I did. I ain't feel nothing. Man, I smoked look. a blunt. And went to work. I trash rooms. It wasn't a really good, you know. It wasn't really a a good, you know, experience. I mean, it was an okay experience, but I guess you know, I just I don't know. Just they beginner. Not for you. If you ain't yeah. looking, for, if you don't know what you're looking for, you don't do them. Right. But if you know which ones you're doing, like I like the albinos. The albinos are like the best. That's like the cushion shroom, so you don't get no headache. You 
you have a spiritual feeling and you can and it's like you have a positive day. Every time I take them, I will take a a, a micro dose and go to work, have a great day at work. You know, but eventually, you know, shrooms cost. So yeah. and then you don't want to take them all the time. It, it's fun when you ain't took them in a while. It's yeah. like not smoking weed in a while. Right. Yeah. You know, but I think you, you know, you should take a break every once in a while just to recoup and rejuvenate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, smoking can be hard on the body depending on, you know, where you get it from and stuff. If you're a person mm-hmm. that procrastinates, shrooms will help you greatly. If you don't know what what you're doing with your life, mm-hmm. shrooms will show you another path. Like that's why I love the albinos, also called penis envies. Mm-hmm. They show you like what you need in your life. Like you can ask yourself, how do I get this money? Like that's how I started making money, making the butter cookies. I had a yes. I had a awakening off the shrooms. I got up in the every morning, you take them in the morning on an empty stomach. Man, but man, and look. they kick in, you smoke a blood and they activate some. Mm-hmm. And you just have the greatest day. You put on some nice music, <laughs> and then you, it just slowly goes away, and and you'll notice it. You know That's what I'm saying? Well, go ahead and uh, shout shout out your social media. <laughs> yeah, I'm try. <laughs> Check out Smitty Certified Beats at Instagram and mm-hmm. Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, you can catch me. Got some beats up there. I got my okay. B stars on there. If you What's your B stars? B stars backslash Smitty Certified Beats. Okay. <laughs> now, before we get into the Stoner quote, um, what um, other strands have you smoked this week besides the apple fritter? Um, uh, it was some strain you had. I forgot the name. White runs, yeah, yeah. White runs, white runs is cool. Mm-hmm. I had uh, I had some other runs too. I think it was just regular ass runs, but mm-hmm. yeah, runs is cool. That's like the new OG. Okay, well, thank you for coming on the show, on the podcast. I do appreciate it. I appreciate. it. I hope I could come back. You can definitely, definitely, definitely. We definitely gonna have more shows to come. Y'all definitely go ahead and go to cannabisinfusions.com. Make sure that you get all the information you need about Spotify, audio for the podcast, and the YouTube for the videos and everything. So let's get into it. What's your stoner quote of the day? If you got them, smoke them. That sounds good to me. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Cannabisinfusions.com. I'm your girl, Peachy P. Follow me on Instagram at Big, pa- at Big Boss Peachy. That's Big Boss and then P E A C H I E. Y'all be careful. Please don't ever smoke and drive even though we all have, you know what I'm saying? But just try to be safe out there. It's a crazy world, especially if you in Illinois, you know how I go down, down here. But y'all, thank you for listening. Look out for the next episode of Cannabis Infusions next week. And check out the website for updates. And I'll talk to y'all later. Right. Thanks for listening to the Cannabis Infusions podcast. For more information on this podcast and how to listen and watch, go to www.cannabisinfusions.com. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. Come smoke with me. (coughs) 